Okay, in this video I'm just going to quickly run through the, the basics and the principles behind using patterns. Now what they enable us to do is to quickly fill an entire area or an entire document with a repeating pattern. Um, I think it's a bit easier to actually show you what I mean rather than explain it. So what we'll do is, you don't need to do this for now, just to watch the video and I'll just um, I'll go through how we um, create the patterns and the uses for them. So I'll just create a new file. I'll just make it 800 by 800 pixels. Any size is fine. That should um, be good enough to demonstrate what we need. So I just have a blank document here. I'll just create a new layer. I'll just call it circle for now. Okay. Now I'm going to just as the layer name suggests, I'm going to create a circle on there. I'll just create a quick black circle like so. And then I can move this around. Now, what, for example, would we do if I now wanted to repeat this circle across the entire page? I could, for example, I could grab the layer up here duplicate that layer so I have a second circle using the move tool I could then move that circle across so I have a second circle and then repeat the process for a third circle and that's all well and good and would naturally get the job done but of course that is very time consuming so there must be an easy way I hear you cry well in fact you would be correct so what I'm going to do is I will just delete these two layers here and what we need to think next is what kind of area around the circle would I want there to be just so that it didn't overlap. For example, if I were to take my tool here and crop it like so. Image crop. There we go. Now if I was to set this to a pattern, what we would have is this image here would repeat, but I would have a huge gap there. So it would repeat, but the the, wouldn't, the circles wouldn't necessarily be very close together. They would have this this gap here. So what you need to do is really for these to work ideally, is have roughly the same amount of white space or blank space around the the um, the shape that you want to repeat or the um, the image you want to repeat. This can work with anything. We're just using a simple circle here to um, to make the point. If I just crop that there now, we see we have a similar amount of white space behind there. Now if we don't want the white space, we want for example these circles to appear over yeah, on a layer over something else, over an image. We can get rid of the white, so just so we have black on transparent as we can see here, which is good. So we roughly have what we want now to repeat. So what I need to do is just to select all of that area because what we're going to do is define that area as a pattern and to do that we go to edit and down here as you can see it says define pattern so if I just click on that it brings us up here so it's given us a thumbnail of the pattern there and the option to give it a different name I'll just call this circle test you can call that anything or you don't even have to be doing this so you probably won't call it anything at all but we'll just OK that so what that's done it doesn't give me any you know pop-ups or anything but that has just defined that now as a pattern so if I just minimize this one and create another document again I'll create that 800 by 800 OK size that down to 50% create a new layer now I'll call it pattern it doesn't really matter at this stage. So what we need to do is fill this entire page with that repeating pattern now. And to do that, I go to Edit and Fill, or Shift and F5 if you prefer, the keyboard shortcuts. So I just click on there. And this brings up our pop-up box. Use Pattern. There are the other options in there. We could as we have in the past we can use a foreground colour or a set colour but yes we're going to use pattern which is here and custom pattern if we click in there 
these are all the existing ones that you get with Photoshop some that I've created myself but if we scroll right down to the bottom of there we will see the one that we just created so if I just hover over there it brings it up circle test 174 by 172 pixels so I'll click on that one because that's the one I want to use OK and in there we see what that done now what that what that has done sorry it's filled the entire page with that circle pattern and if I just draw the box around it you can see you know that's what the original pattern would have been and that's just repeated it throughout the entire document it goes over, over the edge here because we didn't you know we didn't accurately measure out that if we wanted say five circles across there and the pattern was 106 76 pixels we would have naturally we would have times 176 by 5 just to give us enough room to uh, to fit that exactly but that's not really relevant for now basically this this video was just a quick overview of how to use the patterns if you move on to the next video we will actually implement that into the actual design and if I just bring the original up here you can see if I zoom in that there are some little squares here that are repeated now I didn't naturally place every single one of those on there I used the pattern tool and that's exactly what we'll be doing in the next video